Sarbonani, Tovela, Amshini, Kumare. Uh, talking to you today is uh, Mr. Shaini Elias Mulopo from Howdy Department of Social Development from the unit called Supply Chain Management. Today on my left hand side I have Avuile Tele from Howdy Treasury and he will be discussing the topic today which is called Central Supplier Database. So if you are a small business and you would like to do business with government uh, you want to register on CSD? Have we let Tele to be assisting you? Over you to Mr. Tele. All right. Thank you, Mr. Buloko. Um, good morning, Khoya uh, Mare, Malweni, Zanbonani, uh, my fellow South Africans, my my beautiful um, suppliers, my beautiful people of South Africa um, who are doing business. Um, and who are eager to do business, especially those who are still starting up or those who have an idea of starting a business. So my name is Avu Yile Tele, once again, um, I'm from Gauteng Provincial Treasury. Uh, and once again, let's remind each other that um, if you want to do business in Gauteng Province, or if you want to do business with government, not necessarily in Gauteng province, but uh, South Africa as the whole. If you do business with government, you are required to, reg to register on the database. You are required to register on CSD. What is CSD? CSD is Central Supplier Database um, that was introduced seven years ago. And the purpose of um, introducing the Central Supplier Database was um, for compliance. Um, for the suppliers to comply and for the suppliers to have access um, on the database um, so that they can check their compliance of the, the compliance of their document. So let's remind each other registering on the database how to register on the CSD. You log on on the website www.csd.gov.za once you log in on the website, then you will have to create the profile. How do you create the profile? You create the profile with your credentials. Um, first step, you will have to have um, a valid email address, a valid cell phone number. So when you register, you click on register, your name, your surname, um, your cell phone, your ID number, then you will have to create the password. And remember, the password that you've create, you, 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 you create um, belongs to you. So it consists of um, eight characters, capital letter, small letters, and a special character, and some numbers. So you will be able to register. Once you are done registering, it will send the link to your email that you put when you are registering. Then you go to your emails. You go to that link, you activate. Then when you're activating the link, it's going to send the OTP to the cell phone that you've captured when you're registering. You punch that OTP, then you will be able to gain the access. Now you are registering. You register using the password that you've created, um, using your um, email and that password that you've created. Then now, when you register on the CST, <clears throat> the first step that you go to is industry classification. Now, when registering, make sure that the industry classification talks to what your business do. The core business. If you are in construction, then that will be your industry classification. If you are in catering or in any business, that will be your industry classification. Then the second step, will be the address, the contacts, and um, a tax compliant. Now, when it comes to tax, that's where most of the people get confused when registering on CSD. Because you are registered on CSD, but your tax is, is non-compliant. Remember, if you are registered at SARS, you have the PIN, you have the tax number, it will stay, it, it will, the, the system will still show that you are non-compliant on the system. 
meaning there are some areas that need to be ticked, that need to be taken care of in e-filing to be compliant with SARS. So, if you are registered at SARS, then you have that PIN that will expire next year. Um, and then you still think that um, your SARS will expire next year. Then on the system, it's still showing the non-compliance, meaning the tax you have is going to expire next year. But on the system, those areas that are not ticked, that are not taken care of, are the ones that makes you to be non-compliant on the system. And um, there's another thing that most of the suppliers um, struggle with when it comes to CSD, the banking confirmation. Remember, when you're registering on CSD, you don't upload any, any, any documents, but you punch the information that is on your documents. Meaning, with banking details, those banking details that when you are opening your bank account, you punch it on CSD. Then, if your company is XYZ PTY LTD, it's a return like that um, at a certain bank, you will do it as it is when you register on CSD so that the bank can verify successfully. Remember, the system talk to each other. If you put it in an incorrect way, XYZ PTY LTD space, and then you don't do the space or you close, or you open the space where it was supposed to be closed. It's not going to verify. But if you do it exactly the same way it's written at the bank, it is going to verify. Now the response will say, bank verification. Bank has verified successfully. So those are the two things that most of the suppliers are struggling with when registering on CSD. Tax and banking details. And when it comes to what the business do, meaning the commodities, you can choose um, five commodities that you do in your business and put it on the commodities. But on the industry classification, make sure that it's the core business, what exactly what your business do, right? Um, so I've said, okay, let's, let's, let's remind each other of um, what CSD is and how do you go about registering on CSD? Because most of the small businesses are struggling when it comes to registering on the business, on CSD. Then there's CSD database, and then there's GPG database. CSD is Central Supply Database, and GPG is Houghton Provincial uh, Government Database. Houghton Provincial Database um, um, <clears throat> is used in terms of uh, payments and creation of uh, purchase orders or quotations. Remember, if you are registered on CSD, you will have to register on GPG database as well if you want to do business in Houghton province. So it's easy. In this case, if you are registered on CSD, you will email me the MAAA. Now, if you are registered successfully on CSD, you will be in a position of um, CSD number or supplier number. It starts with MAAA. Then now you will email me that MAAA number and I will create you the GPG database. Just email me the MAAA number. I will create you the GPG database and send it to your email. I will leave my email address um, to make things easy and my contacts so that if anyone um, um, wants to know anything that has got to do with the database registration or any query in the database, you can just give me a call. I will be able to assist you. Or in any query um, regarding doing business, small businesses, regarding do, doing business in Houghton Pro or doing business with Houghton Provincial Government, I will be able to assist you. So my name is Avuile Tele. My email address is avoyile, my name, dot tele, my surname, at houtenga.gov.za. Avoyile, dot tele, at houtenga.gov.za. And my number is 011-689-8920. 011 689, -8920. 011 -689 -8920.
two zero. I will prefer uh, if anyone has a query or you want to ask anything to drop me an email. I will then get back to you um, immediately. I thank you. Uh, thank you, thank you so much, Mr. Avrile. Uh, that was a very informative uh, to small businesses, especially because uh, it's very tough on registering on CSD because to the tax compliance issues and uh, and banking details. But however, so if you're experiencing any challenges, as you've had that email, Mr. Avrile will be able to to, uh, to assist you accordingly. Thank you so much. Until we meet up again, thank you. Thank, thank you. you.